Okay, guys, going to do a video like I promised for you on refining gear. Uh, I'm going to do a couple pieces here with Electra, and then if I have a little bit of time, we'll take a look at the wall general and, and my thoughts on that. Uh, generally, when you're doing refining, uh, we're going to talk about a couple key things here. You want to focus on the pieces that are upgraded as much as possible. So, for example, with an Ari's piece or an Akamated piece at level 33, those pieces can get refines of up to 25%. So you can see here, uh, I've got uh, some base attack here, and I've got I've got a perfect refine on this one already. Um, but they have a max of 25%, which is quite significant. Uh, because when you're rolling these, it's just a much higher chance that you're going to, in general, get a higher refine. Whereas if you look at uh, the Dragon Gear, with the Dragon Gear, you're looking at a max of 20%. And then, of course, your base refines are even lower. We'll get into the base refines uh, in a second. Knowing what pieces of gear to refine are also very important. Uh, when you're looking at the uh, bow, and the ring, these are always going to be refined to attack. Your helmet and your pants, those are refined for HP. And then your chest and your boots, those are the refined for defense. There's other refines you can do when you're talking about gathering gear. Uh, if you guys want, I can do another video on that if you want me to explain gathering setups better. Um, I'm going to focus on uh, the Ari's piece here, and uh, as you can see, I've done some loose refines already on these. I try not to lock too much on these, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Um, I've already done a bunch, so at the end, I'm going to see if I can get rid of that mounted attack, and we're going to do some expensive refines and maybe try to get uh, a little higher than the 15 too. It all comes down to what you want to actually have uh, and, and, and where your uh, threshold is. I try to get them 20% or higher. So I'll, I'll kind of take like a, a 17 or an 18 if I'm going to lock them in. I'm going to try to do some on this. So I've already got a good 12%. So I could lock that in. But quite frankly, I want something better. I'm going to do a couple refines here to see if I can get something better than that. Because uh, you can see right now, it's only going to cost me gold. If I, uh, for example, I already got something that's really better than that. Uh, I've got a couple base refines that's really going to help my lower tier stuff. So I could confirm that. If I want to lock those in, I can. But... I'm not going to I'm not going to bother here. I'm going to keep trying to get like a really high refine without having to spend gems. And this one I don't like, so I'll just cancel it. Keep refining and this just kind of sucks. You're going to you're going to go through a lot of uh, resources to get this done. That's why I say wait until you've really got this set up until you've got some good refines. I'm going to talk quickly about the base refine versus the uh because I'm running out of time, versus the percentage. So percentages go up to 25%. The In this case, you're going to go up to 634 with range attack. At, I think it's tier 13, you're probably looking at about a maximum of around 13 or 17% for a base attack uh, is what they'll equal out to. But the benefit of the base attack is they don't get debuffed, and you also can't see them on your stats. So when somebody scouts you and they see your scat, this is why they're very strong on a wall gen, and they go, oh, this guy's got really crappy stats. But really, you're, you're more buff than what it looks like uh, because you have these base stats. But at the same time, um, you're also going to be buffing your lower tier troops higher because since they're a lower number, it's a higher percentage refine. So they make more sense on the lower tier troops on your layers, hence being more effective on your wall general. However, 25%, especially when you get in your tier 13 and tier 14, that's what's going to do um, the most. Um, I'm running out of time, so I'm not going to do a refine here, but I hope this helps and gives you an idea. I would lock those two in, and then I would do a refine on that. Cost 4k gems now to do that.